What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your Photoshop run faster. So guys, for this video, I have five different things that will improve your Photoshop speeds. All of these ways will improve your loading times for things like graphics packs and also just general Photoshop. Once you're using Photoshop, once you're using Photoshop in a day-to-day -day routine and you're just say, for instance, designing something, this will make it run a whole lot faster and it won't lag. So with that said, I'm going to kick it off with the first step and that's to head over to the top where it says edit right next to file, scroll all the way down to preferences and then once you have selected that, find the performance tab is right here select that and it will open up a separate tab on your computer once you are under this performance tab you want to go to where it says memory usage is the first one here and you want to increase this from uh, 70 percent yours will be on around 70 and you want to increase this to whatever you want so i'm going to put mine up to around about 74 you may think that's not even much it's not going to make photoshop run faster but it definitely will you can even increase this more if you wish but of course i don't want everything running really slow if i am using photoshop so 74 percent is a really good median so uh, make sure you bump yours up to that if you do have more ram than me so you have loads of ram then you can bump this up even more and it will improve your speeds but I recommend around about 74% for the average computer or laptop. So that's the first step in order to make Photoshop run faster. Let it use more of your RAM. And the second way is to actually deselect use graphics processor. Now I only recommend this for someone who uh, uses Photoshop and it runs really, really slow. Either that or you have a really bad graphics card and you don't want Photoshop to use it. Otherwise it would just make it even slower than it is. So if you have a bad graphics card or even your Photoshop is running really, really slow, then deselect use graphics processor. Sometimes this can come in handy though, so I keep mine selected. But like I said, if you want Photoshop to run even faster than it is, and you have a bad computer or laptop, then make sure you deselect this. So that is the first two steps. Increase your RAM and also deselect use graphics processor. For the next one, I'm going to be decreasing the history states. So under the history and cache tab, uh, you will see one called history states. You want to decrease this. Mine's on 50. That means I can uh, step back around about 50 times. And this is just too much. You want to step back yours to around about, uh, I'm going to say 15. And that's just going to make Photoshop run a whole lot faster. Faster, so just uh, decrease yours to around about 15 if it's even lower than 15 say for instance 4 and you've always had it on that and you you don't mind it then of course keep it on 4 but but I'm gonna recommend the size 15 for your history states so that is all the steps for the performance tab here like I said increase your memory usage to 73 or 74 percent also deselect use graphics processor if you have a bad graphics card and also move your history states to 15 you want to make sure you hit that ok button because otherwise it won't save once you have pressed ok you actually want to close down Photoshop and reopen it for the changes to actually be applied to your Photoshop. So for the fourth way to increase your Photoshop speeds, you actually want to head over to your control panel. So I'm just going to type in control panel here. And then once you're on it, you want to go up to the top right here where you can actually search for stuff. And you want to search for the following. You want to search for advanced system settings. You want to click view advanced system settings. This will open up a separate tab on your computer. Under the advanced tab, if you're not on there already, you want to go to where it says performance, select settings and uh, this will be enabled it says let windows choose what's best for your computer if your photoshop is running really slow or even any game is running really slow this will definitely improve it you want to select adjust for best performance if you press apply the text in windows changes as you can see but if you start using photoshop uh, you will see like i said this text will look a little weird but the actual photoshop itself will run a whole lot faster it won't change any of the display settings or anything but if you don't just keep it on the normal setting or you can even try a custom one where you do a little bit of both it's completely up to you but if your computer is running slow then i definitely recommend you do this so guys the last and final step is to go to your documents just like i'm doing right now select this pc here on the left hand corner i'm going to maximize this here and uh, under the OS, which is your C drive, you want to right click it, go to properties. And then once you have selected this, it will open up a new tab and you just want to select 
disk cleanup. What this will do is it will clean up your whole disk, getting rid of any extra cache files that you don't need, especially in Photoshop as well, and it will just make it run faster overall. As you can see, it may take a couple of minutes, but it's definitely worth doing. And that is all of the steps done. Hopefully your Photoshop will be running faster after doing all of these steps. One extra thing that you can do to improve your Photoshop speeds even more if you're a heavy graphic designer or you just even want to improve the speeds of your windows overall then i definitely recommend you buy a ssd if you put this inside your computer then you put photoshop on your ssd then it will just run a whole lot faster Personally, I don't have an SSD at the moment, but I will be interested in purchasing one in the near future. It's really, really worth the money. I think it's only around about £40 for the cheapest SSD, so make sure you check them out on Amazon and uh, maybe even purchase one. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. I really would appreciate it. Also, if I did help you, make sure to smash a like on the video. With all that said, hopefully you did enjoy the video. This has been Visual or James, and I'm out. Peace.